Item number 10C, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a purchase agreement for a 2011 Go4 parking enforcement vehicle from municipal maintenance equipment in the amount of $31,376, and a purchase agreement and approve an additional um, uh, appropriation of funds for four 2011 Ford marked police cars from San Francisco Ford Lincoln Mercury in the amount of $91,609. Staff, please. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and members of City Council. I'm Martin Cardone, Water Services Manager, but tonight I'm here on behalf of the Central Garage. Um, I'm here tonight to recommend the purchase of one parking enforcement vehicle for municipal maintenance equipment and four 2011 Ford Crown Victoria, Victoria Mark Police vehicles purchased from San Francisco Ford and Lincoln Mercury. Uh, the Police Department's 2010 11 budget includes the replacement of two Mark Patrol vehicles and the replacement of a parking enforcement vehicle. <clears throat> the police department has historically used the staggered schedule for both parking and reduced expenditures. The department's most recently delayed purchase the parking enforcement vehicle in 2009 and 10, when both vehicles were taken out of service, and only one uh, replacement was purchased. The staff now recommends proceeding with the replacement of the second vehicle. The patrol vehicles uh, scheduled for, for replacement range from 2003 to 2005 model years. These vehicles experience an average of stop and go mileage of over 1,300 miles per month. Patrol vehicles are subject to harsh driving conditions, including emergency response to calls and pursuit of driving. They're often placed in service 24 hours per day, seven days per week. These vehicles require an aggressive replacement schedule and are typically removed from service when they attain 80 to 90,000 mile range. The mileage range goal is consistent with schedules used by other law enforcement agencies. The 2010-11 budget includes funds for the placement of two of the patrol vehicles, however, with Ford's recent announcement that it will end production of the Crown Victoria police cars used by the department for many years. Staff recommends the purchase of two additional cars to allow time for the city to prepare for the con uh, conversion to the next generation of police vehicles. There are several advantages to purchasing two additional vehicles. In projecting the mileage, we believe we'll have to ask for two, at least two additional vehicles next fiscal year. Purchasing the two cars now allows us to continue to transfer emergency equipment, such as light bars, computer mounts, rear seat screens, gun mounts, et cetera, from the old cars and have it fit the new vehicles. They're the same models. Staff also, also inquired to see if other manufacturers of plea vehicles or Ford's replacement would be advantageous. We are not aware of any fuel efficiency or green capabilities coming forward next year. There is no significant fuel economy difference, and the Crown Victoria is a flex fuel uh, capable. The municipal code allows for the city to join the South San Francisco bid, which is less than the state bid. Um, the department's normal request for two marked vehicles in the proposed 2011-2012 budget will be eliminated, accelerating the vehicle purchase at this time meets the department's vehicle requirements through June of 2012. The acquisition of the two additional vehicles requires the city council to appropriate an additional 36700 from the general fund's undesignated fund balance. Uh, Any questions of staff? Questions. Michael I noticed in the report it said that the um, the parking enforcement vehicle is a sole source yeah I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about what is um, different about this particular vehicle uh, that would make it a sole source um, the, the only manufacturer is out of Canada and municipal maintenance is the uh, sole provider in this area there's a proprietary territory involved with that and it's what we've used in the past years okay and, and so there's no other models that would be comparable? No, unfortunately, no. Okay. And I, I noticed it's also more expensive than the, than the patrol cars. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a sole source. Yeah. And, and we're talking one of those little meter-made Little three-wheelers, yeah. 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 Okay. And, and I was thinking, can't we just get another patrol car and use it for parking <laughs> enforcement? Uh, yeah, they're using a pickup truck right now. And it's just, you know, they'd have to get out on the driver's side, which would be in traffic walk around the vehicle and then mark the tires and do the tickets. And if the, the three-wheeler now, the gopher, if that's out of service, then you'd have to use another pickup truck to do not only the street sweeping, but also the uh, downtown parking enforcement. What about a two-wheeler? <laughs> but we are getting a, 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 a armrest and cup holder with this one, which we didn't get. <laughs> so, and I, so we we got a little extra out of this one. Is there anything yeah. in the cup holder? Seven thousand. No, but it, it holds a chalk. It holds a chalk yeah. very well for it. The deluxe model. Okay, thank you. Uh, Any other questions? Action. I'll introduce the resolution for adoption. 
Councilmember Ibera. Aye. Councilmember O'Connell. Aye. Councilmember Medina. Aye. Vice Mayor Salazar. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. And I think we'd all like a ride. Right. Through the chair, do we have, could be arranged. Do we have any idea of what the replacement car is going to be after the Crown Victorias? What, what are they proposing after Crown Victoria? Um, I know Chevrolet is coming out with a specially designed vehicle called the PPV, the police pursuit vehicle, but at this time, um, a dollar amount and delivery hasn't been announced. Thank you. Thanks. 